So how are we this week? Hi, Mom! <laughs> it's not what I signed up for. <laughs> I'm a singer by nature. Definitely wouldn't consider myself a dancer. Maybe, maybe a mover? I work out every day, and then I train with him, and I'm out of fucking breath. I don't work out ever, and I feel fine. I'm sorry, I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> I mean, I did used to be a stripper, so I can do like these moves and make it crack. About it. Which is perfect for this, this song. I think so, yes. It really says I love you. What says I love you more than just shaking your ass? Everyone in West Hollywood does, but enjoy your body. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. where's the lie? <laughs> where's the lie, though? We will not be slut shaming. It really does. An angel's in the room. <laughs> Calling repentance to all the homosexuals in this building. <laughs> where I'm just not even singing and we're just like yeah we'll have to do a couple of like embrace ones yeah slow dancing. my brother my boyfriend I'm spotting oh yeah Just how beautiful you look right now. Seriously, just sitting there, just looking beautiful. I almost feel like it's a little bit unrealistic because no therapist is this hot. This week. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that little pause. Mm -hmm. Before we go to that though, guys, I want to make sure that we get an over the shoulder of her with us holding these up so it looks like she's guiding us through That's an right, exercise, the dry erase board. Yeah, so we can just keep this. As much as I love him, 
I don't know if I have the ability to stay with this and to ride this chaos for the next two, three years in my life while I still have my youth. <laughs> so Your <now>? youth? <laughs> You're a cunt. <laughs> I feel like there's still like a stigma attached to therapy. People would like to say, I have an appointment, not I have to go to therapy because they're just afraid that people are going to think they have issues. But like the truth is, is we all have issues. So why not just normalize that shit, you know? It's rare that artists connect so much with their music in today's society and to see an artist who loves his song and is just giving back, um, giving his emotions in this is so exciting. So I'm excited to see the, the end result. Well, and I think too that for, you know, we live in bubbles, like I was telling you the other day, right? Like California, New York, you know, the major like gay epicenters and stuff. So people have this portrayal of queer culture as being just like oomps, oomps, oomps all the time, which is cool. And that's a facet of our, of our culture. Sure. But also what they don't see is the, the normalcy and the families that are raised by, right. by queer couples. And I think it's so important to highlight like, that like every single human being in a relationship goes through these emotions. It's not just exclusive to heterosexuals. And so that I wanted to normalize like, yo, there's like two guys that are in love here that are literally going through the same thing that like, you know, the heterosexual couple around the corner are going through. Yeah. Yeah. That's a wrap on David Hernandez. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the way people responded and the way my band and I performed, like, I couldn't have asked for a better night. Like, I feel so blessed and honored to, like, not just, like, play a song that I wrote that has, like, come to fruition, like, in this big way, like, the music video and then playing live and, like, having all these, like, sold-out shows. Like, it's just crazy overwhelming. Like, I'll probably cry tonight. Yeah. <laughs>